I cannot end this interview without asking you about your relationship, however, with um, your former friend, Kyle. Um, I, I do. I have a question about your thoughts. And again, you said you don't watch the show, but no. do you believe this whole thing that she's now a lesbian? <laughs> oh, are you, OK. So just because I don't watch it, basically, most of my friends are gay, so they do keep me up to date. Um, okay. Yeah. So they like some of the boys have said to me that, oh, Kyle's now come out as as a lesbian. And I'm like, was that for her storyline? Um, because God knows she was always desperately in need of one. And I don't know. Look, I don't know that I necessarily, and I know this may cause a little stir, but I don't know necessarily that we're all sort of straight, I guess. Um, I think that for me, I fall in love with um, energy. So I haven't ever fallen in love with a woman, that's to say, but I think women are beautiful. And do I find them attractive in a way that is not just platonic? Yes, I have for sure. But my preference is men, mm -hmm. but not to say I haven't dabbled either. So I, I don't know with her. I don't think she knows who she is. I really don't. I think she cre has created such a fictitious persona for herself that there's no one home. Mm. You know, I think that she's she's so trapped by this this whatever she's created for herself, and I that's what I witness, which is why, you know, yeah, she's she's, ugh, she um she's probably she's a different breed of vile like she really is she's she's probably one of and I and I don't say this lightly but she is one of the most narcissistic toxic energies that I literally had the misfortune in a meeting um she like she made she, she went give you that physical taste that you talk about yeah and I and I felt it immediately when I met her and I really did try to push through it so that I, I because obviously we're filming a bloody show and I had never watched her before I'd never watched Housewives before so she had and I had heard this that she was saying this that I when stuff you know when I started to sort of take her on she said that I had preconceived notions because I'd watched the show honestly if I had watched the show and witnessed some of the heinous shit she had done, there is no way I would have given her the time of day. Because mm. when I told the producers, you know, number one, my my don't exploit my faith. And also I'm not changing who I am. So what you see is what you get, good and bad. Mm -hmm. um, but she, oh, yeah, I just, it, <laughs> sometimes I'm speechless with her. You know, for example, what she did to her own sister. Now, I I met Kim, I hung out with her. She's such, for me, now I didn't watch her on the show before. I don't know like what made her angry to other people, but what I do know is what I encountered. So mm -hmm. if I have a friend that doesn't like my other friend, that's not gonna make me stop. I'll just keep you separate. Mm -hmm. If I like you, I like you. And no one is going to determine that for me. But what she, when I was on the show, what she did to me because she wasn't, she wasn't getting the upper hand on me. She accused me of being anti-Semitic. And that literally was by far one of the worst experiences I've had in my life to be accused of that um, because it was just, it was shocking. It was, it was beyond shocking and it was so calculated and so manipulated um, and so defamatory um, because she, she, she knew obviously the producers had told her I'd gotten a new tattoo on the back of my neck. And she asked to see it, and I, I was hosting um, a pool party at the house. Um, so when she pulled back my hair to have a look at it, and she went, "Oh, is that 
is that the star of David? And I was like, this bitch knows that I'm a Wiccan. And the what I think what aggravated me was, number one, if you cannot tell the difference between your own Jewish faith symbol, the star of David that has six points and does not look like a five pointed pentagram within the pentacle, then you really are not a, a strong believer in your own faith. And that's when she then spiraled into calling me anti-Semitic. Um, and it shouldn't, it shouldn't surprise me because if she, if she like what she did to her own sister, that she outed her on national TV and shamed her for, for alcoholism. Mm -hmm. It's it's no surprise to me that Kim never recovered because I don't know that if you're in the public eye and this was, again, however many years ago, you know, people weren't so accepting of, of people having their own trauma and, and, and dealing with it the way that they could only deal with it. Right. It surprised me that she would do something so horrific to her own sister. And I definitely believe she did that. She used it for her own storyline because she's, she's so bloody boring. Were, uh, were you surprised about the disillusion of uh, the marriage between her and Mauricio? No, not at all. I mean, I'd heard rumors as well about their marriage. Uh, yeah. I'm not gonna right. <laughs> but I mean, did you like people always were saying that it was him and she's the one that got out because he was so terrible. Is that what you saw? Um. No, um, I don't know that he was so terrible. I didn't witness it. I mean, he did actually place a phone call to my ex when we were about to join the show. And I mean, you know, he he basically said to David that don't, you know, the, um, the husband that um, killed himself. Oh, yeah. Him? Okay. Mm -hmm. He basically, I can't, I don't know his name, but he basically said to David, don't do a referencing that man's name, meaning like this, you're going into an environment that is like dangerous. Oh, like to protect yourself. Don't end up killing yourself yeah. like this guy did. Yes. And it was so, wow. David didn't even know him. It was so inappropriate. Um, I don't know. I think, I think they, I don't know. I don't know what I and I don't care what went on in their marriage. I'm not surprised that it's over, but they also had a long marriage. I had a marriage of 19 years. It's over. Right. I don't know that we're meant to stay together that long. You know, who knows? Right. No, I understand. And and it's a shame when people say it, it means it didn't work or wasn't successful. It was. You got three beautiful kids. You have a whole that was your chapter. Now was, you can have another one. Yes. Yeah. I agree. I don't think that it means it it didn't last. No, but um, she's just a, she's a horrid, horrid human being. And completely just manipulative. Right. I think she won um, reality star of the year or something this year. Congrats. Or like most famous, I don't know the word, but you know, she won some award. I just saw her doing an interview. So mm -hmm. clearly you wouldn't have voted. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I would for another. <laughs> right, right. Um, okay, Carlton, I enjoy talking to you so much. I really could talk to you more and more and more so but we have to go um i hope that one day you will come back and we'll talk about fun other things when you get your um boutique hotel up and running i want to come check it out and yes. we'll we'll do more we'll talk about that i think that you should film some scenes of you getting that together i think that's super cool oh, and i, I think that. it's a, i think it's a great idea and that could be a reality show in a, of itself getting that built and would you um, would you be a guest on my um my little paranormal reality 100%, show. hundred percent. Cause I'm always dying for someone to show me that there's some paranormal activity. Yeah. Oh my By God. Way, that movie or that TV show, whatever it was, where like you see the, the, the black and white of the people sleeping and all of a sudden they're yanked out of bed. Do you know what I'm talking about? It was called paranormal yeah. activity. I think it's a movie. Oh God. Yes. 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 Yeah. Yes. I did too. I did see that. I'm always waiting for something like that to happen to me, but no. Well, I don't, oh, okay. But first of all, you do not want that to happen to you. You don't want to, because that means it's in your bloody home. Okay. No, you right, don't right. want. Very true. Very true. Yes. You you could be sleeping over someone else's house and have right. that happen. Or yeah, just, in your boutique yeah. hotel, maybe in one room, all these crazy things happen to you. That could be fun. I would, 
I would have to insulate that bloody room so they don't escape. <laughs> God, <laughs> terrifying, <laughs> terrifying. And they get a free, they get, the room is comped if they make it through to the next morning. Yes. Yeah. Yes. They just and have the, to make and it And the thing will be is that they never make it through because it's too scary. I honestly, if I, if I had the ability and the power to create a room, which is like an ensuite room that is really, really, really possessed, I would so do it as long as I had a guarantee that it wouldn't attach itself to anybody and it would just be comfortable there on its own. Right. Oh my gosh. All right. Well, again, we'll have to come back and we'll hear, we'll have to hear more of how this happens, but I so enjoyed meeting you. I, I think you're amazing. I wish you the best. Tell people where they can uh, read more about you, find you, your website, your Instagram. I just have Insta. Oh, oh. Okay. <laughs> I thought you were asked. Okay. I thought you meant good. Go do that. Um, It's Carlton1311 is my Instagram. I don't have a website. Okay. I should, but and, not yet. And if people are interested in talking to you more, asking you questions, do you read your DMs? I do. I'm naughty. I'm I'm naughty with, with any sort of uh, communication, actually. I'm terrible, which I will improve upon. Um, I do periodically go on Instagram and look at my, my DMs. Um, and I will definitely um, now, and, and I'm very grateful to be on your show. Thank you so much for popping my cherry. Yes, I'm so excited that I was the one to pop your cherry. It's an honor. First podcast, amazing. Um, <laughs> but yeah, no, I will. I'll definitely look at my DMs, and I do. You know, I don't. Um, I I don't. Again, you know, we we don't recruit people to this that faith, but I can recommend books if they want to really understand it. There's one really really good book out there, um, and I'd be happy to. Yeah. Yeah. And I know that I just, I feel like people will have questions because I know so many people feel stuck and, and that is an energy thing. And you've talked a lot about that. So maybe people will want to reach out to you about that. And then I even have a set of tarot cards in my house that of course I don't know how to use. And I play with them all the time and I read the instructions and it's so dumb, but I'm sure people may have questions about that kind of thing. No, but um, it's dumb. It's because you have, you, you do, you have a curiosity about it and that's how it does yeah. start. Um, well, I think it's because People want answers, right, to things that they oh, don't know about. And it would be so great to, I think, first of it, the first part is believing in it. And then the next part is connecting to it. Because I, you know, I think the fear is that it doesn't exist. The fear that I've lost these people and they're gone. Or the fear that, you know, I don't know what's going to happen in the future and I can't make it happen. Do you know what I'm saying? So I think that that's what, for me personally, what stops me from, getting past whatever my issue is in believing in it. But I think, yeah, I think if you, the minute you start asking for signs to, to verify that, that someone's there for you, or you want to see that does, does, is there a higher power aside from, you know, magic? Um, you will, you will get your answer. I promise you, you will. Well, it's been such a pleasure meeting you. I, I do. I am a believer now. And, um, and I wish you the best of luck. Not that you need it because you can put some spells on whatever you're doing and make it happen. <laughs> Let me know if you need one. <laughs> okay. Yes, I will. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. So much, Rachel. Thank you so much.